Welcome to episode 9 of Pigskin Over Pizza, the show where we talk about sports while eating and eventually reviewing a hopefully delicious pizza. I'm your host, Casey, along my co-host, Derek. Pizza. What are we eating today? Um, one of my favorites. Mm. A nice local joint known as Eagles. Mm. Pizza. Eagles Villa? I think the full name is yeah. Eagles Villa Pizza. Fly and Eagles fly. Fly Eagles. E A G L E S Eagles. Um big e- Philly Eagles fans here. Um yeah. It's in New Albany. It is just I'm gonna tell you now, it's just so good. I've had it before. Uh, I know you have. I just I, I let them know it's so good. Oh no, I'm throwing them in too. Uh the so we both had it, but this is the first time I've had it on here, so it'll be a review for it. And the date is September seventh, by the way. Mm. In case you were wondering. I was. I was super you curious. Were? Yeah. Okay. Should we get into this? Let's. <clears throat> this is going to be a non-normal episode. It's going to be all NFL and kind of a season preview, how we think the divisions will finish, the start of our weekly pick that we're going to try and do on here, where we pick every game every week, who we think is going to win, and looking at our fantasy teams, and then kind of. Whatever other NFL news you want to talk about? You want to start with news? Yeah, we can do that. What do you got for us? Um, I just have some Seahawks-related things. I was kind of a bad boy Ooh. on uh, news in general because I just assumed, I I kind of missed the assignment for this week. I thought we were just doing. Doesn't matter. So the Seahawks, you know, I was really high on a killer Witherspoon. I was like, oh man, he's just sitting on the bench collecting four million dollars now. But we traded him to the Pittsburgh Squealers. Uh, for God, this information. I think it was a fifth. Um, but most importantly, they're eating his salary, so we're not paying it. So we got that, and we got a pick back. Yeah, the fifth. So we got a fifth round pick back, and we're not eating that salary. And we got to last week. I said we signed. We traded for John Reed. Um. Cut them, re-signed with the practice squad, got our pick back. So really, we've gained corners that are better and kept picks. Um, but we also made a trade for another mother uh, jet player, believe it or not. Um, Bless Austin. His name is Blesson. Blesson. Okay. Have you heard this? Uh-uh. I think we got him for a sixth. Uh, I would have this information for me, but I'm a terrible person. Um... Steelers fans, he's he's really young. I think he's in his second year. Um, everyone's like, this is the guy, our number one corner. This is the future of the Jets. This is him. He plays really – he doesn't wrap up his tackles, but that could be taught. But he's always around the ball, and he's always making plays. But he was on the Jets, so sad for him. Um, but we got him for a steal, and uh, he already is impressing more than Nikola Witherspoon. So um, – I think those are the two. Uh, yeah, those are the two biggest Seattle Seahawks related things. Week ones this week for the Colts. Mm-hmm. Excited. And I said this at the end of last week, but KJ Wright is a Raider officially at his first press conference. Said he's been pissed yeah. off all off season when he's been not at all. Been like super open to whoever wants to take a shot on, him, take a shot on him, and uh, super excited for the opportunity. But I guess now he's been pissed. So I hope he does well there. But I also hope he's there for re- he's literally one year. And comes back and retires to Seahawks. But I think that's it. Unless this is news right here. No. Okay. Um, I actually don't have any Broncos news. And I just have one thing to add. Okay. And that's Le'Veon Bell signed with the Ravens today. Yeah. I know the last two seasons he hasn't done anything. I know his obviously, obviously you know what using the dumb things he's done. But as far as just a football move, I think that might be a real good move, which is unfortunate because I don't like the Ravens and I really don't like him. Yeah. But I think, uh, I said, I think Dobbins is a big loss. I know to have Gus Edwards, which I think he'll be good. But I think pairing him with Le'Veon Bell is a really smart move. And I think it's. Well, I was gonna say low risk high reward i guess it's kind of mediocre risk because like i said the off-field issues with him yeah but still yeah but still it's 
such a small contract that if that starts up, all you gotta do is get him out of there, and then, yeah. but then you still have. I mean, we're like I say, hasn't done it in much the past two seasons, but we're like what three years away from him being like a top running back and fucking killing it. And he's twenty nine yeah. years old now, so he's not even that old. I think this will be the fourth year because he was. He played for the year. He's good. Off for a full year and then two mediocre years. So this is like the start of the fourth. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it might turn into nothing. It could be one of these things where after week one you see they cut him, but I have a feeling it could be a real yeah, good move. Yeah, I don't think he'll get cut. I think he makes the team. I might pick him up in fantasy. A little late, a little late steal on the old bench there. He could turn into the workhorse. Yeah, I think uh, people have drafted Gus Edwards kind of uh, got screwed over because I feel like people are like, oh, Dobbins is gone now. I mean, he's not going to steal all of it, but I feel like everybody's like, oh, this is he's going to be the only thing there now. Yeah. Now they got somebody else to pair him with. Latavius Murray got cut for the, by the Saints today. <clears throat> oh, did he? See That's that? just a big name money back, too. Yeah. I know he's been around a lot longer, but and he's never been, like, the guy, but he's pretty good. Yeah. So I could see him go, going for a tryout, too. I mean... Ravens need all the help they can get at this point. Yeah. Should we uh, start with the standings, get into that, how we think the yeah, let's do it. divisions will finish? You want to start AFC? Yeah, we can do that. You want to do division by division, like you say how the East goes, I say mine? Yeah. Okay, so start with the AFC East. That is... Just telling people, I know you know, the Buffalo Bills, New England Patriots, New York Jets, and Miami Dolphins. So, for me, I'm going to judge this how I think it will actually finish, obviously not how I want it to finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff in, but yeah. this is our kind of our predictions. Um, and this is just how the divisions finish. Maybe later in the year we'll do, like, playoffs or that kind of stuff, or the postseason. But I think, should we start from the top and then yeah, work our way down? Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> I think the Bills win the division. I don't think that's a, like a surprising pick or I'm like crazy for saying that, I know. But I don't see how anybody's going to outdo them right now. I think I wouldn't be that shocked if the Patriots could do it. Because I think Josh Allen's going to have a little bit of a drop-off. But Yeah, I just, even if they have a bit of a drop-off, I think... They're gonna, the Patriots are going to be real exceptional to make up that much ground yeah. in one season. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the Bills will win. Yeah, I do think the Patriots will finish next, unfortunately, because I hate them, but I can't see. I think Miami's the only team that has a chance to jump ahead of them, but because they've been decent somewhat recently, but I think how they're handling Tua and the whole situation might make a, a for a big downfall there yeah they finished 10 and 6 last season yeah second in the division yeah so like i said i think they could definitely challenge the patriots i just and i feel like if you go off of that you would think that'd be kind of walking for a way second place but i think how they're handling things makes yeah, no, no, more totally. concern and then i would put the dolphins third and then the jets definitely last in that division i'm in the same yeah. exact same yep okay i i honestly though i had a hard time with the jets not being alive. like I, I almost put the Jets up one, which is crazy. Really? I think they're going to be way better than two and fourteen. Um, oh, I think it'll be better than that. I just even as the Dolphins do have the issues, I think I would be surprised they could drop past what yeah. the Jets would finish. Yeah, I feel like like seven wins is like their floor. I feel like the Jets could literally have a zero win season. That that would be their floor. But <laughs> um, Patriots, I think their floor is pretty pretty medium. I guess seven, eight wins. Bills, I think their floor is double digit wins. So yeah, I think I, I totally agree. We can uh, move to the in, their AFC North. You want the, me to do this one, and then you can tell me if you agree. Yeah, we can do that. Um, you want me to list teams, or you want to do that? <coughs> I'll list teams. Okay. <coughs> so in the AFC North, we have the Cincinnati Bengals, the Baltimore Ravens, the Cleveland Browns, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now again, this is what we actually think is going to happen, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Like I said, you can add comments about what you feel like, what you would yeah, want and yeah. whatnot. I genuinely believe the Browns are going to win the division. Yeah. I do. I've said that for the whole offseason, so I can't change it now. <laughs> and I feel it now more than ever, unfortunately. Um, 
the next one I think is going to be the toughest. If is I think the Ravens have lost a lot, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also think the Steelers just aren't going to be that great, and they're also having a lot of controversy now with like T.J. Watt and wanting to stick with him, and the defense is questionable in general. They did just get a kill of Witherspoon, so I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. But I think I'm going to go Steelers in second. Okay. Um, and I'm totally cool with that not being the case. You know what I mean? Like, I could t- oh, yeah. definitely see them. I could see the Ravens finishing anywhere, to be honest with you. Uh, same. The, the fucked up thing is I could see the Steelers winning, the Browns winning, or the Ravens winning the division. And so it's like I think it's going to be like a one-win difference. Um, and it's going to be like some weird out-of-conference win or something that like put – you know what I mean? Um. So then I put the Ravens. And then I go the Bengals. Um, I think the Bengals are going to be way better in four and eleven. I just think, mm-hmm. unfortunately, they're coming around. I, I don't think they'll be that much better, actually. But they're going to start to get better at a bad time. When yeah. I think the Steelers are going to fall off pretty soon because the Ravens are super young and the Browns are ridiculously young. Although they're going to be in cap hell soon, yeah, uh, starting next year. But um, they're super young and they'll figure it out. And their GM's really smart. So I think the Browns and Ravens are going to kind of control that division for a long time. And the Bengals could just be in kind of a shitty spot. <laughs> so as much as I love Burrow, and I honestly have no thing against the Bengals, I just think they're going to be the bottom feeders for a while. But that, that's what I feel. No, I got you. Um, we're definitely dif- different on this one. I know you're not surprised because we went over the Browns schedule yeah. and the wins I thought they would get. And like I said, this is really how I feel. Because if I – how I'd want them to finish is 0-16 and, and dead last. So this is realistic of what I think could happen. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I think the Ravens will win the division. I think they uh, underperformed last year and still finished very well. 11-5. and five. Yeah. And I felt like they were not playing their, to their potential. Like we talked about, they did lose J.K. Dobbins, which I think is a big blow. But as we just also talked about, I feel like they did well for this late in the offseason to be able to improve the gap to, or the hole they have now. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this is where, as much as I hate the Browns, I think it'd be a, a toss-up because of the Steelers are getting so old and Ben Rossberger every year I think he's done. And every year he consistently puts up 25 touchdowns. So it's hard to root against him even though I hate him. So I think the Steelers do finish second, but I do think that could flip, unfortunately. Well, I hate the Steelers too, but you know how much my hate for, hatred for the Browns? Um, I do. So, I think the Steelers are going to finish second because, like I said, I kind of like Tom Brady. As much as I hate him, I just keep doubting him. So, until it happens, it's hard to go yeah. all in on that. <clears throat> and I would like to see the Steelers fall apart after that. But, like I said, I do think, and not just kind of Buckeyes fan, but I'm worried that Dwayne Haskins was a steal. I know he hasn't done anything, but I just feel like he has all the potential. And the Steelers always do shit like that where they should fall apart for the next five years after the success they've had. But I'm worried they might just got a fucking steal like that. He barely made the team, so I don't even know if they think that highly of him. (laughs) Yeah. um, I don't know. All the reports were saying how good he was doing, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where that was. They said he was on the cut bubble. Yeah. And he ended up making it the last minute. Um, Before, I'd say my obvious last two here, because we know. So you said Steelers, Ravens, Ravens, Steelers, Steelers. Browns. Yeah, and then, then the Bengals. Um. What do you think the odds are if Ben Rosberg p- falls apart or retires that um, the Steelers trade for Watson? That would make sense. Yeah, I hate them. And they're sacks of shit, and they don't really care. So. Yeah, and this is assuming I'm wrong about Haskins, obviously, but uh, if he's not, I mean, if you really just care be, about... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Yeah, and that just instantly makes you a, com- a contender again. They would be the favorite... They would have to be the favorite for that division, let alone they'd probably be a high favorite for the AFC. Yeah, I think another perfect fit, but it will literally never happen, would be the Colts. I think if they could get him, they immediately be. Because I think they have all the pieces to be really well. But uh, the quarterback of the future, though, Casey. Well, you know, we talked on here. I don't. Um, I think he can be good, but he's just so fucking yeah. fragile. But um, I can't believe he's going to play week one. I still can't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then the Bengals last, which is. Unfortunate because they're a team I like the most in the division, but this is how we think he'll finish. And 
I do think they have the potential to be better than they were last year, but I am also, I said my biggest concern with them is still not Joe Burrow as far as him, but how the injury might affect his entire career, not just the... And the zero addressing of the offensive yeah, line. exactly. And the defense is fucking atrocious. And it's not even that worry so much about injury. It's like it's the mental thing and, like, always seeing the ghost. And, like, I mean, we hurt our backs or something in everyday life, and your body instinctively, like, doesn't want to do things for <clears throat> weeks until, yeah. like, weeks after because your reflex and everything kick in and go, oh, this is going to be wrong. So once yeah. like that happens to you, I don't see how you just get that out of your mind. But we'll see because like I said I like him too, and it'd be nice to see this division different. Yeah, especially with them. <laughs> we go to the AFC South. I'm down. All right, you lead it. Yep. So you have the Indianapolis Colts, the Tennessee Titans, the Houston Texans, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, I think the Titans will win the division. Um. I don't know. I could see the Colts or the Titans winning it. I think those are the only two options. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, like, it's a toss-up for me, though, but I think the Titans have been so consistent lately that that's why I would give it to them. And then, like I said, I think the Colts have all the pieces, and I don't even think Wentz is as bad as people do. I just don't know how long that's going to last. The and, Titans are just a better team, top to bottom. Yeah. And they got better in the offseason. So. Yeah. And then the Colts next, and then... I'll go the Texans and Jaguars. And, really? Yeah. You think the Texans are better with Tyrod than the Jags are now? We didn't talk about that news. You had a name Tyrod Taylor, the starter. I got, I'm not trying to be funny. I didn't know he was still in the league. Um, he got but, his lung punctured last year, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why Justin but, Herbert became the best quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> but I actually I think it's going to sound funny because I said I didn't know he was in the league anymore. But I think he still has a chance to be a decent quarterback, not anything special, but to finish third in division and get a handful of wins, which I think could win it. I don't think... He was bad at the Chargers. He was bad at the oh, Browns. Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, I don't know. I don't think the Texans, and kind of spoiling it here, going ahead, the Lions, I don't think those two are going to be nearly as bad as people think. The Texans more so, but... Texans, with all of their players they have now, they actually lost pieces, went 4-12. and 12. That's with Deshaun Watson. What? Well, well, you can uh, say how you think the division will finish before I spoil that. I think – I just have the last two switched. I think the, Jacks, I think the Jaguars, Jaguars sorry, will finish ahead of the Texans. And this isn't like a, you're fucking wrong. It's like a, I think the Jags get four wins. I think the Texans get two or three. That's I what I was about to ask. How big of it? And that's why I sound think it's going to be. Yeah. I put the Texans ahead of them, but not because they're like that much better. I just think they'll be. I wouldn't be shocked if the Texans didn't win a game also. They look fucking awful. Do you think that's actually going to happen? Especially no. 17 games? No, 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 I don't. But I, I like, if it's like, if there's a team to pick, I feel like the easy pick would be the Texans. Um,. But I don't think the Jags are going to be much. Yeah. They're kind of – they, like, signed a bunch of old people. This is how I feel about the Cardinals, too. They have an exciting young quarterback. They signed a bunch of old people. Their defense is eh. There's two teams way better than them. In the, there should be three teams way better than them in the division. But Bill O'Brien sucked ass with the Texans. Deshaun Watson's a fucking pig. So, I think that <clears> – I think that the number one overall pick, like – Snags you a couple wins. Um, but I don't think they're going to be very good. Yeah, gotcha. S- sounds a toss up for me, but I would go yeah. Titans, Colts, Jags, Texans. Because I th- also think Tyler Taylor's going to get hurt week four. So, I, I wouldn't be shocked yeah. if he gets hurt. Do you know um, who their backup is? No. I could look. Yeah, I really don't know who it is at this point. It is. Sean Watson's is on the. Uh, <laughs> um, it, Austin Tyler Taylor, Davis Mills, Ryan Finley. 
Jeff Driscoll. So if Tyra yeah, gets hurt, which he hasn't had a full season in since he was a starter for um, the Chargers. Maybe. What team did he start for when he first came in? Blanking. I don't think it was a, uh, I don't know. I don't think it was the Chargers. Maybe it was. <laughs> I feel like it was the Chargers. Am I crazy? Oh yeah, that's is right. Is it the Bills? I know he played there for a while, so he's thirty two. That's probably why I thought he's out of the league. Here. Ravens. And then he started for the Bills okay. in twenty fifteen. He was always a backup for the Ravens. I gotcha. That was in the Flacco era. Oh yeah. Flack attack. In the Flack attack, MVP. <laughs> so that's when he started for the Bills, eyebrows. and then he hasn't played a full season ever. <laughs> hey, things are looking up. 14, 15, 15, 4, 8, 2. He has never played a full season. So when he gets hurt and Jeff Driscoll takes over, or that team is finishing dead fucking last. Who's their other quarterback? Yeah, another former Bengals backup. D- something Mills? No, not Bruce him. Mills. There's another one. I don't know. That, I just thought it was funny because they had two former Bengals backups That's as their backup. Though. It's bad. So, uh, yeah, just with his health even more in question, I think they finished dead last. Now for the one. You're probably not going to like me. Uh, The AFC West. Are we done with the South? Okay. Uh, We got the Chiefs, the Raiders, the Broncos, the Chargers. It's a tough-ass division. Yeah. Um, I think the Chiefs win it. I know it might be a shocker. Um, I think the Raiders will be better than people think. And I think the Broncos are going to be better than people think. I think the Broncos are going to be pretty good. So I think the last two – I think the Chargers finished second, by the way, because I think they have a really good team, and they went 8-8 eight and eight, – or they went 7-9 and nine last year. I think they're going to be in double-digit wins. Um, The Raiders and, and Broncos, though. <clears throat> I think I like the Broncos more than the Raiders. The Broncos have a way better defense, and I think Teddy Two Gloves is just as fine as – I think Derek Carr has more potential to be better, but he just hasn't lived up to that since that one incredible year. When I came in here, I had Broncos finishing last, but now that I'm talking out loud, I think I want to go Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos, Raiders. Okay. And I don't think the margin between the Chargers and Bron- or the Raiders and Char- Broncos is very big. So much so that I could see a divisional win against the Raiders making the difference. Um, this one's very different, but not just for the reason you might think. Because I have the Chiefs winning. Um, Weird. I do think, not because I'm a Broncos fan, like I said, I think they have one of the best defense in the league. I think they have some of the best receiving core in the league. Running back, I think, is solid. I don't think it would put it anywhere near the top of the league. Also, I think it's a question mark, but potential big upside. Um, losing Philip Lindsay and getting uh, Williams in the draft. So yeah, he looks good. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Um, I think their biggest question mark still, like I said, is offensive line for me. And then what happens with the quarterback situation if um, Bridgewater keeps playing and plays well or a lot comes in or and if a lot comes in what happens with that if he does well or if that messed with him. Kind but, oh, yeah, go for it. But uh, I think if the offensive line plays even capable and Bridgewater plays um, the way he normally does or if Lott comes in and plays really well, I could see the Broncos even winning it. But I think it's hard to pick them over the Chiefs. But uh, yeah. like I said, I think – that might sound crazy and like a homer pick, but I think those are the only things holding them back. So if those happen, I think they could be just as good as anybody in the division. But those are definitely ifs. So that's why yeah. I wouldn't pick them at this point. So you're gonna go second? Yeah, second, and then this is where it might differ more. Um, I'd pick the Raiders to finish third. I think 
Uh, the Chargers can finish last? Yeah. I don't think because they're terrible, like you said, I think this is a tough division. And I don't like any teams in this division, but actually just like the Raiders more, but I would pick them ahead of the Chargers. I Any think. reason? Just, just you don't think they're. You think the roster is better? I don't think. I think Herbert. Everybody's just thinks like is locked up as the next big thing. I don't think he's necessarily bad, but I wouldn't be surprised if he dips this year, opposed to what he did his first year. And Derek Carr just like you said seems to always kind of underperform, but seems to have the talent. So Derek Carr should be one of the better quarterbacks. Yeah. So. I think that could, uh, I think he could maybe put it together more than he has. That's a. Not behind a Tom Cable offensive line. <laughs> You're never going to get it. That coach sucks. Who did he coach for, for before? I know. Seattle. Name. Oh, okay. Dude's That's fucking annoying. trash. He's so bad. Um, I don't know how he got a job. I don't so, know how he still has one. Go ahead, sir. Oh, you're good. So I'm not, like, locked in as a Raiders ahead of them. It's kind of a toss-up to go about pick the Raiders over them. It'll be fun to come back and see what happens. Yeah. I, I, pick, I think I picked, like, the – I think mine would be, like – oh, yeah, that's what probably most people pick. I probably the, maybe have the Broncos a little high, according to some people, but yeah. I like it. That's the AFC. So who do you think is going to win the AFC? Oh. In general. Oh God! Um, I know we didn't plan that, but let's just talk about. What are your What are your top six teams? Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, I have no clue. Um, Chiefs, Bills. So we have the division winners, right? Yeah. So there's four of them. Four, yeah. Um, I think. Yeah. So for me, it'd be the Bills, the Ravens. The Titans and the Chiefs, and then the two wild cards. I'd say, man, I think I would go Steelers, Broncos. There's a couple other that I think have potential, but I think those would be the wild cards. I hope the Browns miss the playoffs. That'd be sweet. Uh, me too. <laughs> what about you? So I would have the Titans, the Bills, the Browns, Chiefs. Colts. Felt weird. That didn't feel right. I just was surprised you picked them, but like I said, I think. I think it them. all depends on the wins. Wins won't yeah. stay healthy, oh, though, yeah. so I'm going to take that one away. <laughs> Ravens. I'm going to pick Ravens, and I'm going to pick. Fuck it. I'm picking the Patriots. Patriots? Yeah, fuck it. Okay. I hate if they can make that to playoffs that fast. That'd be so annoying. Belichick's good enough, but I don't know if Mac's going to be good enough. Yeah. That's that. <clears throat> so, um, and I would pick the Chiefs to win the AFC again, unfortunately. Move to the NFC? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Um, I think this one was me. Yeah. What are you going to do? North? Um, I have the East on here first. Is that good? Okay. I think this is the hardest for me to figure out. As long as we do the West last. Okay. Um, I actually had this all figured out before we did this, but um, we have the Washington football team, the Philadelphia Eagles, the New York Giants, and the Dallas Cowboys. This is a mess of a division. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen anywhere. I think it's going to look super similar to what it did <laughs> last year. But I think one team's going to have a couple more wins. I agree. I think we might be thinking the same team. Maybe not, but... Number one, I would have the Cowboys. I think uh, having Dak Prescott back, I don't think he's supposed to be back week one, right? No, he is. Oh, is he? He's a full go, yep. <clears throat> I was going to say, I didn't thought he was going to miss a couple weeks, but even then I would still put him in first because as long as he doesn't have the same thing I'm worried about with Joe Burrow, I think. Uh, uh, he's so, he's going to be good. Yeah, but uh, that should be enough to put him over the hump with the Certainly this over division. six wins. Yeah, I was going to say with the, this division of competition. And then anywhere after that, I really have. I said I thought of this beforehand, so I know where I'm going. I'm just running through my thoughts of as I was looking at this before we recorded. I really had no idea to the point of I was like, 
who's Washington's quarterback? And I was like, wait, Ryan Fitzpatrick's a starter again? I don't know how he keeps doing this. Is he the starter? Yeah, that's what it says on ESPN. I was like, I don't know how. I mean, you see quarterbacks last yeah, like that. Yeah, because he was on the Dolphins last year. Yeah, and but they, they moved to Washington. Yeah, yeah. They usually go in and out and like back up, but he just consistently moves around as a starter. I've never really seen He does seen well. Anything. Yeah. He was re- they fucked up taking him out and putting Tua in. Tua was not ready. Yeah. So I would put Washington next, and then I'd do the Giants. They had, what, eight wins? Uh, six? six? Yeah, six. Yeah. Um, so I think those could easily swap. Like I, said, I think this division is the most unpredictable. I think any of it could swap, but I think those are very likely, and then the Eagles last. Okay. I think the Cowboys win it. I think they get nine or ten wins. I think it's Washington football team. I think they are also going to be at the nine ten area because uh, I think Ryan Fitzpatrick's astronomically better than anyone they've had recently. Uh, the, than a hurt Alex Smith or Dwayne Haskins in a trash system. Their defense is the best on this list by far. It's yeah. one of the best in the NFC. I think it's going to help. I, I could see the Washington winning the division. Um, but I'll put the Cowboys. So I think they have a better team, at least a better offense. Yeah. Um, and then I would go, and then I, I don't think it's going to be close after that. No? No. I think these last two teams are going to fight for four or five wins. Oh, so you think the Giants got worse? And why in the Eagles, right? What did they finish with? Yeah, I think it'll be Giants than Eagles, though. I think the Giants will be a little bit better, but I don't think they'll be anywhere near the Washington football team or the Cowboys. Man, do I think the Cowboys are going to be worse? Mm, no, that's what I'll stick with. I'll go Washington. No, no, no. Cowboys, Washington, Giants, Eagles. And maybe the Giants are going to be closer than I think. And the Eagles will just be the scum yeah. of that division. Yeah, because the, the Giants got Saquon back. <clears throat> Defense was pretty good last year. Danny Dimes is so hit or miss. Yeah. I guess it all depends on Danny Dimes, and Colt McCoy isn't going to yeah. do anything besides cost us the first seed. Um, Yeah, I'll go Dallas, Washington, Giants, Eagles. So I agree, right? Um, Yeah, what? Well, yep. Yeah. Same. Okay. All right. What do you have next? Um, The NFC North. Okay. The old Northy North. Um, <clears throat> God, mine's like cutting out because of the stupid fucking yeah. headset. The NFC North, we got the Packers, the Bears, the Vikings, the Lions. Yeah. I think the Packers win it. I think it's going to be pretty close. I think it's between the Vikings and the Lions at this point for a second. Not really? Yeah. Um, until Justin Fields potentially starts. I, I, I just don't know what the Bears are going to be. I, I have no idea. I, you're probably higher on the Bears than I am. I think they have a good defense. They could finish second. I really like Minnesota's team and Dalvin Cook's coming back fully healthy. And their defense has stayed pretty much the same, which was good last year. They were a top tier defense. I think they actually added somebody. Better. Um, I'll go oh boy. I'll go uh, Vikings or Lions. Which puts the Bears last. They had eight wins last year. Uh, I'll go. I'll go Vikings. The Lions went five and eleven. Do I think Matthew Stafford is five wins better with the same team? No, Jared Goff. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that he makes them five wins better. Do I think they're last? <laughs> That's why I was shocked when he said second. Because I, I might go last. Packers, Vikings, Bears, Lions. <clears throat> but okay. aside from the Packers, I think you could switch any of those. Yeah, I was going to say, for me, I think the Packers are the easy one there. I think they win for sure. But this was another very tough one because... Even last year, they were all yeah right next to each other. 
Packers, Vikings, Bears, Lions. Yep, that's what I say. Yeah. Um, this is another really tough one for me to pick. I think in the reverse way, the last division, though, because I think they're all good, so it's hard for me to pick a, yeah. the worst one because I don't know these teams I don't think really deserve last place. But somebody has to. Yeah, exactly. But I would say Vikings second, and then I would say Lions third. I, I, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna be much better than people think. I do that's, too. That's why I was surprised you were debating for a second because a lot of people are thinking they're a potential worst team in the league. Not with Tyrod Taylor leading the Texans. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there's no way a team's worse. Well, I feel like the consensus is the Texans, Jaguars, Lions are the teams everybody's debating for the worst. Yeah, that's I fair. think obviously any team's capable. If I was picking, I would say the bottom three that have potential to be the worst would be the Texans, Jaguars, and Eagles, actually. The Eagles could. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck the Eagles are going to be. They could be okay. They could be trash, yeah. Yeah. And then, so that would leave the Bears in last place play. So that's. Seems unfair. Yeah. Even. Like, so I think Andy Dolan should be the starter. I think. He could easily get them eight wins, which would have to put them out of last place. So it's not that I'm contradicting myself, but it's also that you don't know what's going to happen with that. And I think it's more likely he's probably going to get benched. And I think Justin Fields, you know how high I am on him. And I think his playmaking can maybe get you a few extra wins. Like um, His rookiness could cost you a couple games, Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah. Not a few extra over Andy Dalton's, but a few extra like comparing his own play. But, yeah, his mistakes, I think, would outweigh that. I agree. This is a tough one. I don't just, yeah, I could see that happening. So you would just put the Bears last and I would put the Lions last. Yeah. That's the only difference. Yep. Which like I said, after the Packers, I think they're also it's, good. They're kind of getting beat could, up on each yeah. other. I think the Vikings have the best overall team, aside from the Packers. Their defense is good. Kirk Cousins is like a top performer in fantasy. You know oh, that? Yeah. He's yeah, like he, pretty close to uh-huh. that. Yeah, it's weird. Um, and he doesn't rarely make mistakes. He just can't win you the big games. Mm-hmm. Andy Dalton's fine. I think Jared Goof is not good. And I think he'll really be shown as not good with a not good team or a good coach. Yes, Who's the coach of the Lions now? Is it still uh, Patricia? No, he's out. I can't remember who's there he now. He went back to the Patriots, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's... I think Daryl Bevel is the play caller there, too, and he is also. That's where <clears throat> I think we differ in everybody that's down on the lines, not that you're down on them. But I think Goff is going to be good, and I think uh, I think that's going to motivate him, too, to have everybody talking about how what a trade, like the one yeah. side trade was and how he can't do anything because it was a system thing. I'm I, sad to see that be proven true. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's going to be the best quarterback in the league or anything, but I think he's going to be good or comparable stats to what he had. Yeah, I think he's going to be worse than Dalton stat-wise. Really? Mm-hmm. Like this season or like yeah. a regular Andy Dalton year? This season. I think Dalton really? had a better year. Yeah. Wow, okay. And that's on the podcast, so we can come back to it. I, yeah. I'm cool being wrong. Oh, no, that's why I think it's fun to do podcasts to look back on it. Yeah. Uh, so that's the north. We did the east. South? Yep. We'll save the best division in football for last. Um, <laughs> is it you? It is you. I was trying to remember. So, it's another tough division, but I went with the Falcons finishing first. That's the smart call. I had the Panthers, but. Oh, really? No. I you was... actually have the Falcons finishing first? I do. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, I do. Wow. Um, okay. I don't like the Falcons. Panthers are my second favorite team. And I think the obvious is the Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. But they didn't even win it last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. And it was the Saints, right? But that's Drew Brees. They're they're not finishing first this year. So I really do think the Falcons are going to win it. And I think Matt Ryan kind of has a Kirk Cousins syndrome where he consistently puts up good stats, if not great. And for some reason, everybody wants him out. They got worse. They lost key pieces on defense. They lost a corner, one of their linebackers. I think their safety's out, too. And they lost Julio. Well, I think the reason that I think that um, they could be better, maybe not 
What was it? What did they finish with last year? What was the uh, four wins? Four wins. Well, yeah, I definitely think they'll be better than that, or they're not winning the division. Um, but uh, I think the Saints are going to get worse. I, I think the too. Buccaneers might not get worse because they didn't finish with a great regular season record, but they finished with a round there. Then eleven and five. Was that what it was? I thought they finished with nine, maybe. No. Yeah. Well, that's a a good record then. Um, well, I think they would drop off then because I thought they'd get around nine wins. So I think they'll drop off. And I think somebody's going to have to get more than nine wins to win the division. So I think the Falcons could get around ten wins okay, and win it. Um, I do think the Buccaneers are the next team, though. I don't think they're as much as I hate them. I don't think they're horrendous. They're going to have a huge drop off or anything. And then I actually think the Saints will be the third team. Um, I think as much of a fucking goofball Winston, uh, Winston is, I think he has potential to kind of rejuvenate his career here. I think Winston's going to have a better final year, or best, better first year than Breeze had his final year. I so see. I think he's going to do really well. Yeah. Yeah, and you have uh, Kamara, which should be at full strength, which hasn't been a consistent thing. You get Thomas back after week six. Yeah. So... I put them third, and then the Panthers last. I think we talked about. I think Sam Darnold has a chance to also do the same thing, but I just don't know if it'll be to the same effect of what Winston will do. Gotcha. I got Buccaneers winning. They have the same roster from last year, um, which I can see the logic behind. Well, they only went eleven and five, didn't even win the division. They really hit their stride late. Oh yeah, definitely. And with a new coach, it's they hit the stride at the right time, and they have now a whole off season together. So I think they'll get better. Unfortunately, um, I think they'll finish like twelve wins somewhere around there, which will win the division. Oh yeah, that would... um, they'd be a yeah contender <clears throat> for the number one seed probably. Uh, I'm gonna go Saints because I think Winston's gonna make nine wins maybe, nine or ten somewhere there. Yeah. Um, and I'm going Panthers. This one's going to be very interesting to see at the end of the year. Yeah, because uh, I think Donald does make them better. And I don't think the Panthers were that t- – I mean, obviously they went 5-11, and 11, so they weren't that good. But I don't know. I like them a lot more than I like the Falcons. I think the Falcons got way worse. And uh, I, don't, I don't see how they would finish higher than four or five wins. Oh, you don't even think they get better than that, huh? Mm-mm. I think they do about what they did last year. Unfortunately, it's just a tough division, too. Not yeah. really. The Buccaneers are tough. The Saints will be kind of tough. Panthers, you could probably win both of them against, but they'll probably split. Yeah. The Saints went 6-0 and in the division last year. Mm. That's even more crazy the Buccaneers did what they did. Probably helps it breeze with the fucking experience he has, being able to learn the teams that he plays against twice. Yeah. So, I know Tom Brady does the same, but I'm gonna go. Yeah, Tampa Saints. T- excuse me, Tampa. Stop the it. New Orleans Saint Winston W's. Uh, the Darnold Panthers and the old Falcons. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. I th- I literally thought you were joking. Yeah, like I said, I, this is why I actually think the Panthers are my favorite team, so I put them. And I guess maybe the Falcons, Saints, Buccaneers if I was picking. But I don't like anybody after the Panthers, so that's kind of just a toss-up. So, yeah, that's... No, right on. I, I'm excited to see that one play out for sure. That'll be fun to keep track of. Yeah. All right, and to the best division in all of football. And I genuinely mean that, and I think most people do too as well. But it also helps my teams in it. And it also fucking sucks that my team's in it. It might suck more than it's cool. It is cool that we won it last year, though. Is it me? Did it actually work I like this? I think so. We have the Rams, the Cardinals, the 49ers, and the Seattle fucking Seahawks. I really tried to not be a homer here, and I think I did pretty well uh, because the Seahawks are going 17-0, and the other teams aren't going to win one. That's fair. Seem reasonable? Yeah. Okay. Now, I do have Seattle winning the division. And I get that's up for debate. ESPN thinks that we're going to start 0-8. I wouldn't be – I don't know. I, I think this team's ceiling is legitimately 15 wins. 
somewhere in there. I think their floor is 10, 9. Like, I, I just think they're just too good of a team top to bottom. You look at every level of the field. Safety, they have a Pro Bowl free safety, an all-pro, newly signed, <laughs> strong. Corners, you could, you, we could have an argument about, sure. Um, linebackers, you have the best in the league still, Bobby. Um, newly rookie sensation that even Pro Football Focus has as player to watch this year, Jordan Brooks. Uh, Daryl Taylor, rookie, come, or not, oh, he's his first year, looks incredible. Our D line rotation is the best it's been since the Super Bowl, and we have a star there, Carlos Dunlap. Offensive line star Dwayne Brown. We signed Gabe Jackson from the Raiders, huge name. Uh, receivers DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. I think the top two duo in the NFL. Russell Wilson. I think is a top five quarterback, and you could argue top three. I some could argue top two. I would argue top one. I would lose. Um, Baker. Baker Mayfield. Um, and then. Running back, I think we have a top 10 running back. I think stats prove that as well. Now, the rotation and health is a concern at running back. And then depth is a concern pretty much everywhere. So, if we get hurt, I, I can see us finishing dead last. I will say that. But in reality, I genuinely think we have the best roster. And then here's where it just gets so fucking hard. Um, I think we have like 11, 12 wins. And every other team has 9 to, <clears throat> nine to 11. Like... It's gonna be so hard. Oh, sorry. Um, We're getting close. I think the Rams finished second. Uh, They got significantly worse on defense. They lost their best safety, their best corner, their best linebacker, um, their quarterback. So a new now, I think they got better at quarterback, but he still has to learn a new system. Um, And then the running back Cam Akers got hurt for the year. Um. Now they have a backup. Terrell Henderson's pretty good. And they signed Sonny Michelle, who's also very good. So that's not as big of a concern, but they did lose him. Like, that's not, like, nothing. I think the receivers, I think you could argue you are the worst of all these teams in the division, but they're still incredible. Um, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup. <clears throat> but I think I would rather have DK Tyler. I would rather have DeAndre alone. And then the Niners, I guess, I guess maybe I'd put the Niners at the bottom. Oh, they have Brandon Ayuk, second year guy. <sighs> but yeah, I'd go Rams second. I would go Niners third. This is one of those divisions that's tough to put someone last because it, it doesn't feel like they should be last. Uh, and then I'd go Cardinals because the Cardinals just signed a bunch of old people. I think Kyler's really good, but you lost Pat Pete. You signed JJ Watt, who can't play a full season, but when he does, he's very good. <clears throat> Most of the time. He's also old as piss. Uh, they have Buda Baker, who is the highest paid safety still. Or no, second. Third now, actually. Um, but he's very good. But other than that, it's kind of like... They lost some key pieces, but they do have Kyler and they have DeAndre. So I think the offense is going to be good. I think the defense is going to be about what it was last year. Middle of the road. They went 8-8. Eight and eight. I can see that again. Or eight and nine, or nine and eight, one of those two. Um, so that's where I put them at last. And then I think the Niners, I think the Niners and Rams and Seahawks could all just. I don't. I don't think it matters where you put them in. But I think that division was tougher last year, except for the Niners got hurt. But uh, and the Seahawks won it by two games, and they dropped one of the Giants. They could have easily won the whole whole conference. You know what I mean? Um, and the Seahawks got better. So. I got Seattle, Rams, Niners, Cardinals. And I th- and again, I think I think honestly you could put the Rams second if but health is such a concern, lingering issues or health issues linger. And the Seahawks are also one of the healthier teams. So you said Seattle, Cardinals, Rams? Seattle, Rams, oh, okay. Niners, Cardinals. Oh, I thought you said the other way around. I misheard it. So yeah. Seahawks, Rams, Niners, Cardinals. You could flip flop Niners, Niners and Rams, but I don't think the Rams finish third. I, th- I think they're first or second. Mine's pretty similar. I think the Seahawks win it. Um, I would put the Cardinals second, actually. I think that I didn't know if Murray would be good or not, and he still might not be, but he's played better than I thought he would, I'll admit. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, Hopkins is. Uh, uh, who hard, he is. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Fucking so good. I hate playing against him. Yeah. And then a lot of pieces around him, which I think will help a young quarterback. Um. 
And then also kind of coupled with the fact that the Rams, I don't think, are going to be as good as people think. They're not going to be bad, definitely. But like I said, I don't think Matthew Stafford is that much better than Jared Goff in the first place. And it would kind of conflict what I said about the Lions if I talk the Rams up right now. Yeah. I still think he's going to be good. I think they'll be good. They lost so much on defense. It's just hard. Yeah. It's was, so hard. They went 10-6 and six last year with the best defense. Yeah, and I know the quarterback's upgraded. Uh, I don't think as much as other people think. Yeah. But even if it is a slight upgrade, that's the first thing I was going to say, that chemistry, I think, is very underrated in football and sports in general. I think it's very overlooked by talent. Obviously, talent's important, but like I talk about all the times the all the time, the Yankees and Red Sox always have the highest salary cap in baseball and aren't always in the World Series every year or yeah. even close to it because chemistry is a big part of sports. So the Rams have talent, but I don't know how much they'll gel together, especially with the injuries on top of that. I think that's going to hurt that. So I don't think they're any bad, definitely, but I think that's why they have finished third. And then the 49ers in last, but again, I don't think they'll be terrible because yeah. I think their record – was kind of like a well not identical to the Broncos but in the way of last year that it was kind of deceiving they so because it, last year. yeah because they had about the same injury issue as the Broncos did God, I just think to the Rams more <clears throat> I want to put the Cardinals or I want to put the Niners in second the 49ers in second I, I yeah I'm not going to move off the Cardinals being last maybe maybe my official one will be Seahawks Niners Rams Cardinals okay it just all, the injury bug just matters yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Seahawks, Niners, Rams, Cardinals. Sorry. All right, you're good. Um, do you want to do the same thing we did for the AFC? Sure. You want me to go first this time? Sure. So I have who do I have winning? I have the Seahawks, the Bucks, the Cowboys, the Packers, and then one of the NFC West teams is going to make the playoffs as well. So that would be the Niners, I guess. If I have it finishing that way. And then uh, Saints. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if like a Washington snuck in or maybe even the Vikings. But I'm going to pick Saints. Okay. So Seahawks, Buccaneers, Saints, Washington, Packers. That's six. Yeah. Who do I have winning it? <clears throat> Genuinely, I mean, see, this is why it's so hard to be a Seahawks fan and, like, not get excited every year. <laughs> Seahawks play Green Bay in Green Bay. We have never won in Green Bay. That will be the deciding factor between the number one seed. That's what I'll say. And there's no bye this week, this year, right? Just like last year. Like, there's the first round. There used to be first and second seed so get buys, but now it's just the first. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah. I Which is that. fucking horseshit, by the way. Um, mainly because it fucks us. But I don't think we win in... <sighs> Fuck. I do think we win in Green Bay this year for the first time ever. But that would be stupid to actually bet on that. Yeah. So Packers win in Green Bay. Packers take number one seed. I guess. <laughs> then then Seahawks would take second. And I, I, I genuinely think this team should at least make the NFC Championship. The Seahawks should. This, the talent's too much there. And honestly, there's too much – there's so much pressure. Not pressure. It's it's an expe expectation at this point that they have to get past the divisional round, at least, at least the wild card. So I don't think the Packers have enough to win the NFC. I think the Seahawks do. I think the Bucks do as well. So they'll be the third seed, I think. So I'm going to put Buccaneers-Seahawks in the NFC Championship game. Seahawks going to the Super Bowl. Fuck it. I'm saying it. It's either, be it's either Seahawks, Bucks, or Packers, Bucks. With the Seahawks losing in the divisional to someone. They shouldn't. Okay. And that would, be, that would be a bummer. But it'd still be a successful year. Seahawks fans are so spoiled. They're kind of annoying, too. And I can say that pretty confidently. They're pretty annoying. Um, like, they would call for people's heads at that point to lose in, like, the divisional. Yeah. At least you've been there a million times. Um, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna for fandom, and I genuinely believe the Seahawks could go to the Super Bowl. That the Seahawks are gonna play the 
Who the fuck did I see? The Chiefs? Happy fucking sweet Super Bowl. I would be pissed the whole time. Seahawks Chiefs would be sweet. Packers Chiefs would be kind of cool, I guess. Go Chiefs. Go Pack. Maybe Bills could sneak in there. Bills Packers, Bills Seahawks. I'd watch any of those games. So, official one's going to be Seahawks Chiefs, but that's not going to happen. Okay. So my six would be the division winners I had. The Seahawks, the Falcons, the uh, the Packers, and then the Cowboys. And then my wild cards would be, there's, I'm going to say, I know I'm going to make, I'm going to say three and I'll narrow it down, but there's three that would be a complete toss up for me. The Vikings, the Buccaneers, and the Cardinals. And then, Is there a seventh seed now? No, there isn't. Okay, I, there. I, was just making, I don't know. Now I'm Not starting to debate myself. All right, go ahead. Uh -huh. But uh, I would go with the Buccaneers and Vikings, but I think those three are complete toss-up. Okay. And then, so who wins it? Who's going to the Super Bowl? These are the kind of prediction I know where I would pick the Cardinals. These are the kind I don't like because I think they're so impossible pick. Oh, yeah. Well, not even that I think they're impossible pick. I think people just lock in so early. Well, the Chiefs are the unbeatable team. I think literally anything, well, I know anything can happen, but I think realistically there's a lot of teams that could overtake yeah. any of these teams. I do too. But, but if you're just looking at right now, fuck it, let's just make a prediction. I would say the Packers. That's fair. Do you Especially. think the Seahawks would be second seed? Yeah. That sucks, but it's so probably true. Yeah, and I think either the Packers do take it and um, it's a uh, Everything goes well with Aaron Rodgers, and it's like motivator. Or if it it completely blows up, not that they're going to finish last or anything, but that they make the playoffs and lose it badly, and then it all really blows up from there. You know what I hope happens? That I'm going to call this right now. We lose to Green Bay in Green Bay during the season. We have to go to Green Bay in the play NFC Championship <clears throat> game, and we fucking beat them for the first time there and go to the Super Bowl. That's what <laughs> I fucking want to happen. <laughs> That's my prediction. Okay. And then we go to fucking demolish the Chiefs. 28 to 27. Hey, if you make it there and the Chiefs are there as well, I'll root for that. I don't want the Chiefs to be there at all, though. I don't want them to I kind of want it to be the Bills, but then everyone's going to root for the Bills. Yeah. Everyone will. Fuck it. I'm down. <laughs> all right. That was fun. Is that it? Yeah. I liked that. You too. So we need to look. We have a. We need to have a good look at the NFC South together. Yeah. And uh, the AFC West. Mm -hmm. I think we we differed on the most of those two divisions. Yeah. It's exciting. Fantasy. Is that what we're doing next? Yeah, that or pick them. You pick. <laughs> Ooh. Both on the same website, so. Eating. You can have some of this. I already took my pieces. Oh, no, I'm getting full. Not ready to go to use. We can do fancy first because it's the first thing that came up. Okay. I only have one team, though. You have, like, three. Yeah. Um. And I'm actually going to have four, but I have three as of now. I usually only like doing one. It gets overdone for me. Maybe I get trapped in some other leagues. Um. How should we do it? Do you want to show each other rosters and then me? The... Oh, we talk about each other's rosters? Um, we could do that, or I'm we could down. just talk about who we have. What do you want to do? I'm down either way. I guess we could talk about who we have and then kind of talk it over from there. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't want to see my roster? You don't care? Um, we can kind of go over it. Like, you can tell me who you have okay. if you want. So I'm in a 12-person keeper league. Okay. So the people that don't play fantasy, keeper league is at the end of every season, you get to pick three people to keep. So when the draft rolls around the next year, the top 36 players are already gone. So it is so fucking hard to draft good players. It's all yeah. about trading. <clears throat> so that being said, <clears throat> I, I acquired this team a few years ago, and it was trash. So I've made a lot of trades. I've made a lot of moves. My keepers from last year were Chris Carson, because I had no running backs, Tyler Lockett, and Stephon Diggs. Pretty good, I think. I think Stephon Diggs was really high on his numbers. Mm -hmm. Like top, uh, I thought I told you that. It doesn't matter. Um, he was, it was a top performer. And mm -hmm. I think Lockett was also a top performer. Carson was not because he got hurt. But I need a running back. Fuck it. 
And um, so I started with those guys, and all the other good guys were taken. So I then went on to get my second running back, and I took Mike Davis, the running back for the Falcons. Why would you take him? He's a backup. He's not a backup. Uh, he's going to be the workhorse. He's going to get most of the carries. Um, he He's going to be good. He used to be with Seattle, and he went to the Bears, I believe. And he's always so. been good. He just can't land a starting job. And he's at a place right now where he doesn't really have to share the field with anybody. I think they have a rookie, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, Even that might be wrong. Is Montgomery still there? Um... Oh, he was with the Panthers last year. They didn't draft a back, so Davis oh, wait, expected no. to be the lead runner. You said Bears, and I went to actually think about the current Bears. They're the ones with Montgomery. So he's running back one in, in Atlanta, and they're going to win the division. So he's going to be a workhorse. So I like that. And all the other running backs were fucking gone. He was the only starter left. Yeah. So just to fill out the rest of my team, I have Kirk Cousins as my quarterback. I took a quarterback, I think, second to last round, and I got Kirk. Totally cool with that. Yeah. Um, I had Tannehill in my slot, but he got drafted one before me. I also had Kyle Pitts in my thing, and he got drafted one pick before me, which is sad. Yeah. Um, but I got Brandon Ayuk, the uh, rookie last year, who was really good. He was actually one of my keepers from last year, but nobody drafted him. And I got him as a pretty late-round steal. Logan Thomas was the number one tight end last year. Did you know that? Me neither. Um, got him. The Browns defense, not too excited about that. But you can streamline defenses. I do it all the time. I'm not going to start them week ones against Kansas City, I'll tell you much. I have the best kicker in fantasy, Jason Jason Sanders, Miami's kicker. He was the best last year. I think him and uh, what's-his-face are always up there. The one guy that everyone has. Um, Ravens guy. Uh, Tucker. Justin Tucker. Yeah. But Jason Sanders, I, th- I think, had the most fantasy points last year as a kicker. Doesn't matter. I think that's true. Uh, even if it's not, it's top two. Uh, and then my bench, Jerry Judy. I know him. I got these guys fucking late, by the way. Trey Sermon. I'm excited about him in a keeper league, dude. If he emerges late, yeah. I get to keep him for next year. David Johnson, he's still in the league, and he's the lead running back in Houston, and they have Tyrod fucking Taylor. I got him in like the 11th round. He could be easily my running back two. Or one. He could be better than Carson. Probably won't be. Marvin Jones Jr. Receiver for the Jags. Yeah. I think with Trevi there, it's going to be great. You see this pick right here? No, I'll have my glasses. I can... <clears throat> I'll, t- I'll say it in a second. Oh boy. Uh, I got Gerald Everett as a backup tight end because I think he's going to do great things in Seattle. I had Irv Smith from the Vikings, but he's on IR, so that sucks. And then with my last pick, third to last, I took Deshaun Watson. Because just in case that motherfucker yeah. is cleared of everything and he gets to play, I have a top four quarterback. It's my fantasy. So, at, with, and this is a 12-person league, and my bench is kind of stacked. Judy, Sermon, Johnson, Marvin Jones, Gerald Everett, I picked up after the draft. I, I think my bench is going to be starting more than some of my players up there. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my team. Um, I'm favored to win week one, which I'm never, ever favored. I was always so bad in this league. It took me forever to get a decent team. But I'm, like, super, super excited about my team. Except for the defense part. I think the Browns will be a fine defense, just not against the Chiefs week one. Um, I got a few questions. First, if Watson doesn't play, do you have – do you name another backup quarterback? No. Or are you just rolling? Nope. You're I'm rolling, rolling with Kirk. Huh? And on the bye week, I'll pick up a random. Okay. I think Baker's still out there. I actually might roll with Baker one one week. Um – on mine, it says Kelsey was a high-scoring tight end. Was what 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 type of league is yours? Um, it's uh, is it PPR? It's a half point for that. Okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe Kelsey is because that you said. Would you be surprised? No, that I definitely would. Cause, yeah, I think. How much I hate Travis Kelsey. What did he get last year? How many points? You yeah. mean like? Uh, let's see. He got two hundred and fifty-two. A lot more than him. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the way we do points, he was the most for us? I don't yeah, know. it could be. That was a, a similar question. You're talking about a kicker because I think Koo was the highest kicker, wasn't he, as far as points? Not in ours. That one I know for sure because I had Sanders all of last year. Oh, he was uh, number two, Koo was, at least in this league. I'm assuming Tucker was one. 
No, I took Koo. That's the only reason I knew that one. I thought he was number one, but. Sanders made all of his extra points. He made multiple 60 plus yarders, which we get more points for. Mm -hmm. 50 plus pointers, we get more points for. He had. Uh, Justin Tucker was number seven. Okay. He had 180 points for us last 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 season. Hmm. Maybe our shit's just different. Yeah. I don't know. But Jason Sanders is at least a top three kicker, I think, in most leagues. So. Yeah. That's pretty good, though. I like it for a 12-team, man. 12 teams is tough. Yeah. My bye week's going to suck, though. I think a lot of my people are on week six, but week six is seven weeks away. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Cross that bridge when I come on it. Um, should I go over all my teams? It's uh, a lot. What I think, think that's up to you. Maybe okay. maybe you can do one. Maybe you can do all of them. I don't know. Let's we'll start with one and see. So this is a 10-person league. This is the league I've been doing for the longest. There's some weird stuff happening here. You roll with uh, two starting quarterbacks. Okay. Um, a running back, a flex wide receiver running back, two wide receivers, tight end, kicker, and then a head coach, of course. Mm. And... Uh, <laughs> So, um, I'll do like you did. I'll do a starting lineup and then bench. So, my starting quarterbacks are Ryan Tannehill and Matt Ryan. That's pretty good. Um, this is a 10 person league. I don't know if I said that. Um, Ezekiel Elliott and um, David Montgomery. That's another reason why he popped in my mind. <clears throat> and then DeAndre Swift. Nice. I like Swift a lot. Yeah. And he's related to Taylor. I don't think so, but. It looks like her. Um, that's true. And then Tyler Lockett and Cortland Sutton. Nice. Yeah. I just, nice. Uh, I know there's 10 teams, so everybody should have decent rosters, but I thought mine was really oh, good. That's good. What, play, what did you – I picked eighth, by the way, so that also factors into how fucking crazy my roster is. Um, I think I picked six in this league, okay. but that's like a uh, passionate this, way. This Shane Waldron offense, I'm telling you, you guys need to pick up Seahawks players. We're doing. I watch all the practices, all the training camp. We're, we're running fly sweeps. If you're in a PPR, Gerald Everett's about to be the best tight end in PPR. That's not true, but I think he'll be really good. Tyler Lockett's about to get more touches than ever. DK is going to be so fucking good. Oh, I'm so ready for football. Um, I was the number six pick. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Ravens are my defense. Nice. Who, like I said, kicker. Seahawks head coach. Oh, okay. You get. Two points and then no points for a loss. So that's a good head coach. It's yeah. probably gonna net you twelve wins. 12 yeah, to thirteen. Twelve to seventeen. Uh, Clay uh, or Chase Claypool. Nice. Cole Beasley. Nice. I tried to get him late, but yeah. Devin Singletary. Okay. Um. What do you? I always fuck this guy's name up, but he's a good tight uh, end. Jaseki. Yeah, Dolphins tight end. I know he's good, but. A terrible picture um and then i have marquise brown oh nice hollywood i almost said that Devonte parker as you can see i loaded up on skill. yeah yeah uh, Derek carr okay and seahawks defense and then stash that one for about eight weeks it'll be good later <laughs> and then Jameis winston i just like having two defense to pick from like, yeah uh, matchups and whatnot because if you know what they're going against or power team yeah that's fair have a good defense um well i'm gonna at least go over one more we'll see after that what do you what do you think about that sounds good sounds like you have a lot of receivers yeah um Nothing wrong with that. yeah i got a few extra running backs that you saw there but mainly a load of open receivers because running backs are going fast and i figured might as well get players that are actual starters. and That's the hardest part of Keeper League. Everyone yeah. keeps all the good running backs. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to, if you, if you have the number one pick, you can get like a <coughs> Najee Harris or a, but you just, if you yeah. get eighth, you're fucked. <laughs> you get Mike Davis. <laughs> so, why I wanted to do at least one more league, I'm maybe do the other one, is that league that I said, the last one, like I said, that's one I've been doing for as long as I can remember now. That's my league. But then I got sucked into these other two leagues and then one more. Uh, league that I'm doing tomorrow. It's my first keeper league draft ever. Oh, um, it's a different beast, oh, dude. I know. <laughs> yeah, you got to really... learn how to trade draft picks and shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, but this one is somebody that I work with did a draft. Do you want to hear how many people you have in this league? Sixteen. 
18. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, so... And I would never do it. Yeah, I kind of just did it for the... Was like, this, yeah, bingo. And just people I worked with, so I thought it'd be fun to bond over. But I was kind of surprised my roster turned out the way it did, because that many people, I was like, I'm going to get players I've never even heard of, not just not starters. Probably, yeah. Hit but uh, What'd okay. you pick? Patrick Mahomes. It's a good start. There's your keeper. There's yeah. one keeper. Oh, this isn't the keeper league. Oh, oh, That's okay, tomorrow. Okay, 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 that. okay. This is an 18-person league at work. Okay. Uh-huh. Patty? Yep. Jonathan Taylor. Okay, that's pretty good. Devin Singletary. That's pretty good. Um, DK Metcalf. That's really good. Portland Sutton. That's really good. Eric Ebron. Pretty good. Uh, Brandon Car- uh, Brendan Cooks. I don't know what just happened good. there. Yeah, everybody mocked that pick. I was like, I mean, somebody's got to do something for the Texans. And He's on the Texans, okay. He yeah, is, he, he'll, he'll get you three solid healthy games. <laughs> so he gets um, concussed. The Seahawks defense. Okay. Um. I'm higher on them than I think most people are. I think they'll be really good. I think they're going to finish top nine. The Colts kicker, Blankenship, I think he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Glasses. Glasses boy. Yeah. Georgia man. <laughs> um, Devontae Parker again. Nice. Philip Lindsay. Nice. I almost got him late too, but I just yeah. skipped over him for David Johnson. Um, Sterling Shepard. Okay. Emmanuel Sanders, I think. Uh, nice. I think that's a good pick. Yeah, I think he's going to do really well with the fucking Bills. Um. And then Malcolm Brown. I was trying to remember. Okay. The fucking Dolphins run through so many running backs. And then the Titans defense. So that was my Seahawks decent. Titans defense. Yeah. 18 fucking teams. Yeah, and as you heard, it's not like a empty roster. It's a decent. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, that alone's going to get you six wins. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's, I don't know, maybe it's because my team, I'm, maybe if I look at everybody else's, but, uh. I couldn't believe that my roster looked that good with Oh, yeah. There's going to be some teams. teams in there that are like, how's that even a real <laughs> roster? Yours is good. You have mostly starters. You have some, like, secondary tight ends yeah. and shit. But. I only have one more because, I, like I said, my keeper really gets tomorrow. So I guess I'll do this because this was an auto draft. So I'm curious how you'll feel about this. Mm. I couldn't do it because I was uh, – on a, I was on a trip, so. Dude, if you want to talk keeper league, by the way, trading draft picks and shit for players before the draft is yeah. so fucking fun. That's how I got my team. I, it was trash. Oh, really? And I traded away my keeper picks and, like, two picks to get the number one pick. That's how it started everything. Yeah. It's so fun. It's like a real GM. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not very fond of this team, so we'll see oh, if uh, you feel differently. Some because I hate players, but also I think I could have done better if I was there, even aside from bias. How many bias. people are in this one? This is... I guess I kind of got sucked in this one, so I'm not actually sure... They end up being 10 teams as well. Okay. So this should be a pretty good roster. Yeah. So Tom Brady. Okay. Keenan Allen. Okay. Uh, I like Keenan Allen. Oh. I, yeah, I don't have an issue with him the way you said He's that. He's good, one. too. Um, really good. Oh, what am I right? There it goes. Um, Robert Woods. Okay. Is it a PPR league by any chance? I think it is. Oh, Robert Woods is great. Aaron Jones. That's great. Eckler. That's great. Um, why does it keep not loading? There it goes. Mark Andrews for tight end. He just got an extension. That's news. Um, they're not rocking. Oh, a kicker and defense separate in this league. Um, and then they gave me uh, David Montgomery again. Okay. Melvin Gordon Jr. Okay. Um, I don't even think he's a starter. He's James not. Connor. Uh, he's not because Najee Harris is starting. And I think James Conner went somewhere else, actually. Yeah, he's with the uh, here, the Cardinals. He did go to the Cardinals. He's definitely not the starter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Michael Gallup. Okay. Cowboys? Um, yeah. He's in the death chart a little bit. <laughs> um, Jacecki, as we learned a second ago. Nice. Tight end. Uh, Baker Mayfield. I would start him over Tom. I'm not even kidding. Hmm. Against Kansas City? No, no, not week, not week one. Yeah. Who do they play? Fucking just play Cowboys. I'm definitely starting Tom week one. Um, Tyler Bass, the Buffalo kicker. <laughs> <laughs> Defense is the Steelers and the Chargers. Steelers ain't bad at all. Chargers is okay. Yeah, you're higher in my roster than I am. I, I mean, your your starters are pretty good. Your bench sucks. <laughs> bench is bad. But uh, um, oh, Mark ahead. Andrews, I think, is top tier like top top five maybe tight ends 
I think your receivers were really good. Quarterback's a little question. But, I mean, he's going to be consistent. Yeah. Same with Baker, unless he turns into old Baker, which. So I'm with that. Him at. Um, a fine team. You can streamline defenses. Um, when I started saying Melvin Gore, you said he's not the starter, or are you talking about somebody else? Is Melvin Gore the starter? Yeah, and mm-hmm. unless uh, Williams breaks out, he might do even oh, better than he the did. Fucking Broncos. Yeah, and uh, Williams they had isn't Phil- number one. I don't he- think so. He went very high in our in our fantasy. I think people are thinking he's going to jump him, but maybe they actually did list him ahead of him. Broncos. And either way, they're going to split carries, even if he's definitely, not there. Definitely, definitely. Running back's one of those things. If you don't have like the top five running backs, just get someone that's No, he's, he's a starter. Gordon is. Yeah, according yeah, to so. uh, official depth chart. Yeah, All so. Right. That's fine. And if Williams isn't good, Gordon's going to have an even better year because he is splitting with Philip Lindsay and Philip Lindsay. Did really well, so I need Jerry Judy to to keep his route running, fix his hands a little bit, and really dial this thing in this year. It, uh, I mean, I know it could backfire. It could go either way, really. But I know the court and settling thing is gonna fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say. Really, I think it'll do the reverse. I think it'll open it up a lot. I know it could do the opposite. He's not gonna get all the targets, but I think it could open it up to be like, shit, we gotta put a lot of protection on Sutton and then free up for Judy more. I mean, he's on my bench. Let's not like, make a break. But yeah. my receivers are pretty good. But I'd like to slip, uh, I don't know, Ayuk, Metcalf. Or I don't have Metcalf. I would. Ayuk, Lockett, and Stephon Diggs. That's that's yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty damn good. I hear you. Should we move on to pick them then? Let's do it. I bet we differ a lot on these. Oh, I'm sure, especially as the weeks go on. Because I think yeah. this week, I feel like week one, anything can happen. You always see yeah, when you look sure. back. I think the Seahawks might lose, actually. Yeah, teams that are the worst teams in the week blow up in the first couple weeks and then things settle down, get normalized. I think the Seahawks start 1-4, and 2-3. and three. Really? Okay. I think they have the potential to start whatever, 5-0. and oh, But I think they – realistically, I think we're going to – realistically, I think we're going to go 3-2. and two. But I wouldn't be surprised we're 1-4. And this is another thing about um, picking the whole season ahead in our division. Once you go, go start going through game by game – it can definitely change. Oh, so what we're saying now yeah. might conflict with what we just said. Probably. But that's the issue like with it. Yeah. Um, you want to go game by game, like back and it. forth? Like you pick and, we'll, and we'll talk about why we think we think, or we'll just yeah. do it. Well, All right. I'll, I have the percentages here. Do you have that? Of what other people picked? Yes. Okay. Week one, Dallas Cowboys versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Stop saying that. Thursday night football this Thursday. <sighs> the game is that's in great. Tampa Bay. Said correctly, thank you. Who you got win? The Buccaneers. Yeah, me too. I think it's an easy one. I do think the Cowboys, as we said, will win the division, but I think that's gonna take a little bit to get the consistency going and make sure that Prescott is normal. I agree. And week two. Wait. The next game. Yeah. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. Is that true? The game of the birds, the people say. Okay, so the team on the right is the home team. Okay. Who you got? Falcons. Me too. Okay. Me um, too. I think they blow them out. <laughs> do you? Yeah. 68% have the Falcons picked. I was about to say, I don't know if you said that last one or not. 91% picked the Buccaneers. Yeah. <laughs> game three. The Pittsburgh Steelers at the Buffalo Bills. Right. Am I going first every time or have you? I don't know. We can. I can go first if you want. I don't care. I just don't want to hog it. You can... No. I got the Bills. I do, too. Yeah. I think that one really – I think the Bills are definitely a much better team. The Steelers just always find a way to pull out these fucking games. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if the Steelers It'll win. It'll be close. Yeah. It'll but be close. I would pick the Bills still. Okay. I'm not going to say every game. Uh, not like game four. <clears throat> Vikings <laughs> at Bengals. I went with the Vikings. Yeah, me too. I think the Bengals could win it, especially week one. Like I said everything's just so – Backwards, but I think the Vikings just have there's more talent. The Bengals are so young, and their yeah. downsides are too much of a downside. That's our first road win we've picked. Really? Yep. Interesting. We had eighty one percent also picked the Lions. San Francisco Forty Nine ers at Detroit Lions. Six percent picked one team. Eighty one percent picked the Vikings. You mean then? You said the Lions. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I think you're just looking ahead. So six percent picked one of these teams to win. 
<laughs> you know, I'm already contradicting myself because I picked the 49ers. Yeah, me too. Which 90, is funny. Yeah, 94% picked the Niners. Yeah, I don't even think. Yeah, I don't, the game could be close, I guess, but I don't think it will be. Because Niners are going to be healthy. I think if this game's week 10, I can see the Lions winning. Yeah, I'd be more confident. Well, assuming the year goes as I think, obviously. So it's two road wins we got. <clears throat> Cardinals at Tennessee Titans. I went with the Titans. Me as well. I think the Titans are going to be very good the first beginning of the year. I think we lose to the Titans next week because we play in week two. Really? Okay. Seattle Seahawks at the Indianapolis Colts. I think it's your turn, right? Sure. I, uh, along with 88% of the world, picked the Seattle Seahawks to win that game. Yeah, I picked the Seahawks, especially. I said I think the Colts will be good, but I think it's going to take some time with Wentz, assuming he can stay healthy. Yeah. So Seahawks are also like 15-2 and two at 1 o'clock games on the east side. We rarely lose openers. I think Seahawks are a safe pick. What if they move to east side permanently in Columbus then? Ooh, I would, I would go to more games. <laughs> Uh, what if they had to play in Ohio Stadium? They didn't get their own. I'd go to more games. Yeah. Okay. As long as they're still, uh, I guess they wouldn't be called Seattle Seahawks. If they won the Seahawks, that'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> the Los Angeles Chargers at Washington football team. There's no C here. Um, I'm going to go with the Chargers. Uh, me too. 70% oh. pick the Chargers. I thought that'd be a little closer. Oh, yeah. I think that's a toss. I mean, like I said, I think every game week one is kind of, unless it's like obvious, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think. Do you want to make a rule with me right now? Yeah. You have to pick one upset. Oh Jesus! Every Um, week. I feel like I do that anyway, especially how different I am. But you can do that. You You mean make it a rule? Like we have, like from the percentage, or like like it has to be like under twenty five percent or something. Like you have to pick one of those. We can do that. Um, Have that happened yet? No, not no. We've been highly in the favor of everything (laughs) so far. The only reason I say that is because this next one. Okay. Um, <laughs> we don't have to do it. I was just, it might be fun. Well, you know what? I did that, actually. So coming up, we'll see. Okay. All right, New York ahead. Jets at the Carolina Panthers. 88% picked a certain team to win. And I am in that percentage. I picked the Panthers. I got the Jets. <clears throat> I think the Jets under Sala with rookie sensation Zach Wilson shocked the world and go 1 in 16 and win their you. first game of the season. I don't actually think they go one to sixteen, but I do think they win the first game. Yeah, is can we stop the talk of undefeated and winless teams, especially adding another game on top of this, especially when a team's like five and zero or zero and five? And yeah, I hate that. Oh my god, maybe yeah. if it's like double digits, start talking. Maybe yeah, then we can <laughs> then we can chit chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I picked the Jets. I think they're gonna weirdly handle that game. Okay, I like Zach Wilson a lot, though. I always have, because we talked, I was like, if we're going to do it, I want Zach Wilson in the draft. We're getting rid of Wilson. Mainly because I wanted to give him number three so I can keep my jersey. But <laughs> I like Zach Wilson. A lot of people don't because they remind me of Johnny Manziel. Short, white, cocky kid. I get that. But I yeah. like him. So I picked the Jets. Next up, we have the Tim Tebowless Jackson Jaguars versus the Tyrod Taylor Houston Texans. The Sands is- Bill O'Brien. This is where my upset comes in because I picked the Texans Ooh. at uh, 18%. That is an upset. Yeah, I got the Jags for sure. Yeah, I think they'll win the first game. I think um, – I don't think there's a big gap between them to begin with, and then I think Lawrence is going to um, – like I said, I you know how much I hate him, but I think short-term he's going to be better than Fields or most of them, but still he's a rookie. I think yeah. there's going to be some shit happening. That's cool. I don't think that game's that crazy to pick. Just like, yeah. I think this is all pretty much lining up with our predictions. By the way, of the like, you had the Houston Texans finishing a little higher. I had the so the, this game obviously makes sense. That's kind of cool that I already picked these beforehand too. I did too. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. This is kind of lining up. Ten <laughs> percent picked a certain team of this next matchup to win. The Cleveland Browns at reigning AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs. I'm actually surprised. I don't think it should be, but I'm surprised this isn't closer. Yeah, I agree. Because people are so high in the Browns. It's a big that... revenge game for the Clevelanders that lost to a backup quarterback who hasn't thrown a playoff or a playoff throw ever. Yeah, and hasn't really played yeah. in but, years before that. But easily handled them, but the Browns, for some reason, think they'll beat Chiefs on the road. Yeah, that's why I'm more confident Chiefs are going to destroy him because if anything, I think it's a revenge game for the Chiefs to be like, yeah, yes. it's for Mahomes. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Yeah, this... you almost beat her. 
quarterback that hasn't played in like three years and I don't he still found close. a way to fucking lose it. I don't either. I Not think the last the Browns. road game the Browns opened up, they lost like 50 to nothing to the Ravens. Really? Yeah, 40-something to six maybe. Oh, yeah, no, they did. I remember that because it was hilarious. I, I don't it. think it's going to be close. I think if this is week 12, Ooh. week 13, I think it's way closer. But I think the Chiefs are going to handle the Browns. The Miami and Dolphins versus the New England Patriots, a 50-50 split. I that. Also, Kansas City is one of the hardest places to play. Definitely. On top of that. Yeah, so. there's, there's no way the Browns go in the week one win. Um, yeah, I just saw this as 50-50. That is interesting, um, which is I can't disagree because I, I can see it going either way. We don't want to pick the Patriots. Oh, okay. I want the Dolphins to win. Um, and I think it really is a toss-up, but I would pick the Patriots. I think Mac Jones is going to do really well. I know you're sad about that. Oh, very. True. Yeah, I don't. Fuck that. <laughs> Green Bay Packers at the New Orleans Saints. The Winston W's versus the not cocky, nice man, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, future Bronco, I hear. Future Bronco, Aaron Rodgers, after he fizzles his way out of Green Bay this year. Who do we got? I picked the Packers. I picked the Packers as well. As did 89% of the world. <laughs> ah, and almost a 50-50 split as well. Oh, the Denver Donkeys oh. at the New York Small People. Uh, so a couple things here. Um, if you don't want me booing the crack and you can't be using donkey's not even a good insult. And then little people, I think is offensive when you're doing it ironically. Okay. Um, I went to Broncos. I think this game could go either way. If I'm being honest this year, as we're doing our picks on here, I gotta be honest every year. You I pick just, the Broncos for every game. Yeah. I'm as not, do I for the Seahawks. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Are you going to do that this year? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah? Okay. Oh, for sure. I don't care. Also, statistically, it's been good for me because we win most of our games. So. Yeah, that's part of why I picked the Broncos. I know as of late that's not the case, but historically, I mean, if I picked the Broncos 16 times, they're historically a winning team, so yeah, majority of the time I'm going to... We're going to win 70% of those. Okay, well, I guess I'll do that. I was going to break Do you want to break tendency? Because I will probably pick the Titans next week. If I was being serious. We could do that if you want. Make it a little more interesting. Ah, it to sucks. Have to... We have to pick our team? No, no we don't to... pick our team. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll pick but I'm Titans. okay either way because, yeah, it's... I'm sure I'm going to be, I even if I try and do it, it, yeah, I was going to say, even if I do I it, try and do it fairly, I'm sure I'll pick the Broncos more than I really would. Yeah, same. Um, but I, like I said, I picked the Broncos here, As and I. the Giants, I don't think are that good, and I'm still debating it, so I think I can judge fairly, because I, I think the... I think it's going to take a few weeks for Barkley to get going, and until yeah. that happens, I don't think the Giants will win the game, so maybe a few weeks, maybe 0-3. Yeah. The Chicago Daltons versus the Los Angeles Staffords at their Los Angeles in the first stadium or the first game in that new stadium. Yeah, I think. I think so. Um, I got the Rams all day. It won't even be close. I want the Rams, but I wouldn't be surprised to, uh, at all if the Bears actually win it. And yeah. I, I know it's eight percent sitting there. I see. Um, it's a home opener in a new stadium. It's, it's just a tough environment to come into and win. Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. I was going to say, I think Andy Dalton's perfect for that, but he also, in really He's big games. perfect game. not for that. Yeah. But Stafford also isn't a big game winner. Well, I mean, he's he's a big comeback guy. I think that's what his stats are. It is also, I'm not sure if you said a primetime game. It's a Sunday night game. It is. So. It's not a great first Sunday night game. No. So that makes this the Monday night game, the sure, Baltimore Jacksons. What? I don't think it's a great Monday night either. No. Season opener. What's the Thursday night? Buccaneers Cowboys. That's actually not that good either. Yeah. Pretty shit. Um, I kind of wish they would have done like the Chiefs Browns for Sunday night or something. Seahawks Colts, I get, is where why it's a one o'clock game. Yeah. No one cares. Uh, the Baltimore Jacksons versus the Las Re Vegas Raiders. Then they come up with a creative name for them. The Las Vegas Grudens mm. at Las Vegas. I went with the Ravens here. Me too. Okay. Seems, um, seems like a pretty safe pick. Uh, so we only differed on... You have the Texans being the Jags, mm -hmm. and then I have the Jets being the Panthers. That's the only two? That's the only two we differed on. That's crazy, because I don't even... I look at... Well, I'm sure I see them, but I try not to pay attention percentage until after I pick, because I want my picks to be my pick. Yeah, I don't. I fly through them. I, I go straight off. I yeah. see it for a second, I click. And I just leave it. I do a little more than that, just kind of trying to look at the home team and uh, 
but I guess they make it easier now. This is a way better. I don't know if you remember the interface last year. Yeah, and, this is way different. Yeah, it's a I lot didn't better. Even do it last year, I don't think. Are you doing it? Maybe I did. Maybe I got just got stopped caring halfway through. <laughs> but it'll be uh, fun to do this weekly. I know next week I'm going to be out of town, so unfortunately. First week after we do this, we won't be able to make next week picks. On, yeah, well, we, we won't be able to the first game, first games. Yeah, and we won't be able to make these picks on air, but we'll definitely still make our picks, and then we're gonna do a recording the week after, like the we go like the twentieth, I think. So we'll go over see how our first uh, picks were for week one and week two, and then make our picks for week three, and have a normal episode where we cover all the other sports and whatnot. Hell yeah! Sound good? Sounds good, Honey Bear. Anything else you want to talk about sports-wise? No, this was a fun one. I like doing episodes like this. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we'll have to do more of what we talked about with like the uniform rankings and whatnot yeah. and all that okay. jazz. We'll get other sports in. It'll probably get me into more sports. Yeah. Um, should we talk about this pizza here? Oh, I'd love to. You want me to go first or you? I will because uh, cool. I think it's more your jam. And that's not an insult. No, um, no. I do like this pizza. Yeah. I like it. Um, we do from one to eight here. I'm kind of remind myself too because yeah, I keep forgetting it's not a ten scale, and I say my score is very anticlimactic or overreaction. Um, I do like it. I've only had it for well, I had it when I was a kid. I remembered okay. my parents told me, but I got it somewhat recently, and then tonight, obviously. Um, they do always cook it. At least the times I've had it, it's always the same cook, which is something you told me, mm-hmm. and it's exactly how I get the cheese is brown but not like burnt crisp. Um, I think the the dough is good. It has a little bit of crispiness, but not like a cracker. I'm not the biggest fan of cracker mm-hmm. crust. Um, the sauce is good. They did a, a light amount, as I like. Very light. Almost non-existent. I saw you wipe it away, and I was actually like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I thought there was some... I don't want to tear these all apart, because you might eat some. I, I thought, still have my pizza. I thought there was a hefty amount on some parts. I'm going to more so, so we can talk about that. More so, like I told you, I do that... Because I peel it open, there's some spots where I like a lot of sauce. Yeah, spot. just like yeah. the clumps. <laughs> See, that one's really light. I would just almost no sauce. Yeah, I'll just throw that guy That's back how on. That's all the ones were that I. Ate. You're a lucky man. Um, so I don't have much criticism. There's just something I'm not insane about, but at the same time, it's definitely I still like it. So I'm gonna say. A 6.8. Oh, so close to perfect. It's a good rating. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you mean just 69? Yeah. I did think about that. I didn't purposely stay away. I was like, 68 is probably closer to what I think. And might as well save 69 for a very special occasion. Though. That's fair. Um, This pizza in particular. Okay. Which is what I'm reviewing, right? Right. Was okay. It's I think it was, okay. cooked, it was cooked perfect. The cheese is great. Just not enough sauce, because they do put a pretty decent amount of sauce on their pizza. Um, I actually thought they overcooked it a little bit, mainly in, in the crust. But, I mean, I mean, the bottom part is perfect. It's yeah. just a little, little craspy yeah, at the, the top, yeah, which isn't a big deal. It didn't stop me at all, mm-hmm. nor does it affect my rating, really. Um, I like the extra cheese and pepperoni a lot more. But this is good. I, I think the 6-8 round realm sounds pretty good. I'll go like a 6-7. Okay. Um, but I will say I have it in my phone as a seven three for my normal pizza from here. So it is different from what I usually get, but I th- I still think this is one of the better places around us. I gotcha. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say on here? I almost forgot that we had to review the pizza. I thought you did. Um, and I almost did, and it came back at the last second. I literally pulled up the gaming notes and everything. <laughs> like I was ready to move on. All right. Well, we can get out of here. Um, like I said, let us know if you guys want us to try any pizza places. Yes, please, God. And, pizzas. and if you have any uh, predictions about the season or week one matchups, feel free to comment. If and, you disagree with our picks, let us yeah. know. Yeah, if you think, wow, the Falcons, they're going to fly high this year. If you're on that, that Matty Ice, is that what people call him? That's what they call him. Matty Ice train. I don't even like him, i got to be honest with you. Do you like him less that he's called Matty Ice and, and likes I it? I hate that so much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, if you think the Broncos are going to go be the first ever 17 no regular season team, which Ooh. I think, what do you think the odds are that? Like, Less than 0.1. All right, I think that's a wrap on the episode. Mm-hmm.